आप कह रहे हैं कि सरकार के का कोई रवैया नहीं बदला लेकिन आपके अपॉइंटमेंट में जो डिले हुआ आपके यहाँ जो पेंडेंसी है चीफ के सामने सबसे ज़्यादा है करीब तीन गुना है बाकियों का लगभग चार हज़ार के आसपास है आपके सामने शायद बारह हज़ार के आसपास है तो अगर टाइम पर ये डिसीजन हुआ होता जो आठ महीने लगभग डिले हुआ पेंडेंसी नहीं होती शायद तो आप आ, कैसे कह रहे हैं कि सरकार का रवैया नहीं बदला वेल द फैक्ट इज दैट वेन आई टुक ओवर इन एनी केस आई मीन आई वॉज जनरली चेयरिंग ऑल दी कमिटी मीटिंग द कमीशन मीटिंग्स एंड वी व वर्किंग दैट इज बिजनेस एज यूजल येस आई मीन आई द डेट ऑन विच आई टुक ओवर वी ऑल नो द डेट Uh, but in any case in the months preceding the date when i took over uh, we were working and um, shamnali you'll see very soon um, how well we been able to control the um, mounting pendency in fact already if you'll go through the statistics but the statistics will improve very very soon further you'll you'll notice that um, we have been able to get a handle on the mounting um, pendency and it's it's quite in control any trends that you'd like to point out as a veteran bureaucrat and now as head of the transparency um, edifice for one the government and especially this government is what we've heard is very wary of rti disclosure that you can get five notices and also leaks to the media etc are you Noticing a trend where bureaucrats are writing less and less details of discussion in file notings and uh, you know giving very uh, staccato kind of instructions on file. Uh, well, um, of course, from a very general sense, if you say, well, often I mean this is a little metaphorical. Um, I mean the uh, the art of writing, for instance. So well. Uh, in the sense, the art of, of many things, uh, the the art of this, the art of that. I mean, I, I could go. Is, is the fear of disclosure changing the art of writing? Uh, I know. The, um, <laughs> I should think that the um, well, this is just by way of a calendar, chronology, etc. Of course, the the more recent uh, notings will come, of course, subsequently before us, the, because we are still. um on to to 2014 and so on but i should share this with you that uh, no it's not that and the reason is that the exemption from disclosure clauses itself are fairly um clear and if there is a problem with any disclosure uh, then the information provider can resort to those exemption from disclosure clauses but the fact is that times have changed times have changed since they have changed tremendously since the time when shamlal ji mentioned that i was in this district that they have changed in the last 10 years i mean it was unthinkable for annual confidential reports to be in the hands of uh, the recipient they are there they are given i mean that's that's the system and you can get almost anything unless there is something very very particular and the system has become so institutionalized now and one should also know that it is a multi tiered system so if it is the top tier uh, which is a little closer to uh the systems which we read about in the newspapers there is a uh, a mezzanine level uh, uh, that is the first appellate authority uh, that is a somewhat more senior dignitary in the same department and there is the pio right there at the ground level and the pio is close to the information seeker the information seeker and the information provider uh actually may be sitting in the same office and uh, you won't find that kind of uh, um should i say a barrier or wall in fact i should think that 
uh, once when this act came while at a certain point of time one can say okay uh, maybe there was the intransigence some might say hostility maybe then it it I am talking about 2005 when it actually came then it gave way to maybe some kind of a hesitation and then uh, when the employees themselves started using the uh, for their own personnel inst and establishment matters uh, it seemed that it became more and more uh, universal in the usage. The question now is not so much whether there is a hesitation it is more that whether the information seeker is getting the relevant information the usable uh, information that is the quality of uh, information and whether that information is timely and that is what we intend to also uh, discuss I mean we, we it is about digital India, the railways, the postal services, the, the opportunities are absolutely uh, tremendous. I mean it is a large setup of technology also uh, that we now have. So, we, we intend to. Of course, uh, at the same time um, how to uh, rationalize the RTI Act further. Uh, when you are commemorating 10 years. Yes. So, what are the gaps that you are looking at uh, in terms of improvement and have you uh, in the last 10 years, I am sure that the government or, uh, or the CICs, the Information Commission itself must have looked at the flip side also, uh, where you know where we get to hear uh, of RTI activists using it as say for instance in Maharashtra I have heard uh, almost using RTI as a tool for extortion in builders, for builders. And that is a flip side, but you, I do not know whether you can really do anything about it, because if you try to clamp down on one, then you clamp down on everybody. But then what are the state, how do you improve upon the act further, what are the gaps? Uh, yes, sir, um, the canvas which you have touched upon, even though you have been very brief, is absolutely huge. Um, supposing I just touch upon one dimension which you mentioned, uh, which you I think I have hinted at would be what some may describe as a flippant, frivolous and vexatious applications. Hmm. Now, what is vexatious to a certain respondent is not vexatious to the other. And the same application if an appellant truly feels that he is being made able to is being made to run around would actually have to be looked at a little differently. So, there lies a little bit of the difficulty in being uh, very clinical or mathematical in actually giving the pigeonhole that look this is vexatious and this is not. And there is a lot of the human element. Shamlal you mentioned we, we work in the field. So, we can see um, uh, you know in, in very stressful situations people come for compensation people are they ask uh, well uh, do you have this have you found this have you found this the, the lady is not sure uh, you, you try to find a way out and uh, you have to be a little well rounded in the RTI. So, this is of course, the second aspect is supposing I argue that look there should be a legal filter. A legal filter implies that there is inherent objectivity mm -hmm. and why should we not filter out what is clearly hmm, uh, and then uh, you might say that look maybe in a certain department this would be ok, in another department it may not. You know of course, that the three military wings are within the RTI, is not it? And uh, so, of course, is the Ministry of Environment and Forest, the Panchayat Raj, which are the which were very open open ministries in any case, the, for instance, the rural development ministry, uh, all those rural employment programs. So, what would a legal filter imply? So, this is the second aspect. The third would be what I may describe as uh, the uh, the boutique kind of uh, you know uh, those a little more those fashionable ones or those 
those kind of okay for th things which are not very uh, uh, sort of um, into the citizen welfare, but are of a different variety. So, how do we deal with that? Then there are many who uh, they are PhD research scholars, they, they want, they, they ask uh, the same dozens and dozens of RTI applications to banks and they, they are asking all kinds of questions. Uh, some banks they give it, uh, the, some say that look we, we just can't because we do not have that kind of uh, resources to give you this, dis, I mean the, the use of resources would be disproportionate to what we have. And then the applicant argues that look this bank has given me then why can't the other bank give it. So, there are no very ready made uh, clear cut solution. So, this is not what we discussed in the our CIC uh, meeting also and uh, so this is one uh, broad angle. The other one of course is um, how do you rationalize it? Now, there is no end to there is no end to rationalization. So, um, somebody might say that look obviously those institutions which are handling this kind of work they have to be kept out is not it. But that institution may be doing that kind of work, but another kind of work also that is you can have an institution which is maybe both intelligence and in investigation you, you see. So, where do you uh, this is what is rationalization. Um, so, when you get into that part then of course, the biggest question is that as the political economy evolves what was being done almost entirely by the government agencies is now being done also by the private sector. So, if you want passenger airline passenger safety information um, from um, oh, well if you want it obviously, you, you may wish to have it from <laughs> all airlines is not it not only for from those which are run by the government and this recent very heart rending uh, the sequence of events which happened and those big questions were asked that uh, why was um, route uh, route the seven year old. Uh, why? So, these are all those those kind of questions. So, they were uh, institutions um, which uh, were uh, they were not government agencies, is not it. So, these are the kind of, but our law, our system it works on the basis of what has been enacted and as the def definitions state what is meant by a certain term. So, these are all the questions which Ayer Sahib you are actually raising in across the across across the canvas. You know, there is another issue here because I am sure that uh, Shamla also spoken to you can tell you now. The kind of response that you initially get is like uh, technical, you know, first reaction to an application is the technicality to reject it, you know, saying that you are not a citizen, you are a, you are part of an institution, you know, he can have hundreds of examples of that goes to everything. Yeah, on IIT hmm. he wrote to me that uh, being a, an employee of Indian Express, you cannot be treated as citizen of India. <laughs> so, we will not quite. <laughs> yeah, um, uh, Shamlal ji, uh, the, the, the fact is and I can say it because uh, um, these kind of technical things, this they were a lot in the beginning. Hmm. Gradually, the idea is to give the information and also because as the um, the stream of the I mean the huge stream of uh, I mean the the RT applications are in becoming now so huge in numbers that people do not want to start now um, studying why they should not give it, but the idea is okay give provide the information do not go into that technicalities too much to ask for well prove your citizenship. Uh, the idea is to provide the information that I think would be fair to say that uh, 
the when one used to bottleneck the giving of information on the basis of technicality that is now of the past. 